I didn't see the worried expression when Brandy's mother talked to mine. Hey, I'm Sapphire. Wanna hear something scary? Our next chapter is from the No Sleep subreddit written by username Lana Lona. When I was nine years old, I had a favorite TV series. It had human actors and actors in animal suits and funny educational clips in between. I don't want to name it because it was a really good show and this story is not at all a fault of the show. I will just call it The M Show. The M Show was running for years and I had been watching it for as long as I can remember. I always sat down straight after school with my older sister Scarlett and my best friend Brandy, who lived next door. It was our ritual. Every day, the three of us sat together and in the breaks of the show, we talked and gossiped about all those important issues in our lives. Then, I remember it was a warm summer Friday. Scarlett found a prize competition in one of her girl magazines. It asked questions about the show and first prize was a trip with your parents to Disney World. But even better, everybody who sent the correct answers would become a member of the M Show fan club. The same day, after watching the M Show, the three of us huddled together on the couch to answer the quiz. The questions were very hard. They asked details about old episodes of the show. Without Scarlett, Brandy and I would have never managed to answer all the questions. We sent our letters off and every day we would rush to the mailbox to see if our badges had arrived. Winter came and when the first snow began to fall, we stopped checking. Brandy was still passionate about the show and watched it every day, but Scarlett gradually lost interest. When Scarlett stopped watching, I too began to skip the show. It was now early spring. I remember there were tulips in the garden and my mom reprimanded me for plucking a few to decorate the kitchen table. But right after her lecture, she handed me a small square letter with my name printed on it. The back said, Welcome, Welcome to the M Show Fan Club. Club. There wasn't much in the envelope, only a short leaflet that welcomes me to the club and a small ID card with my name on it. Brandy and Scarlett both got their letters the same day. From then on, every Friday, each of us received a leaflet about the show with photos and anecdotes and background information on the characters. Occasionally, the leaflets also called on the club members to promote the show and to watch out for the M Show Tour. Ever since we became members, we didn't miss a single episode. Then, in mid-June, we all got two leaflets. The first was the usual one with the facts and photos, but the second was an ad. The, the tour buses, buses in town, town. This, this is, is your, your chance, chance to become, become an elite, elite member. The bus was coming next Sunday to our town. We were all allowed to go. We were beyond excited. The leaflet didn't have much information. This was before we had a computer at home. The tour bus would arrive at 1 p.m. and the main characters of the show would be there to welcome everybody and play games with us. Those that participated in at least four games would be upgraded to elite member status and receive a new golden membership card. Those nine days of waiting for the M Show tour were some of the longest in my life. Brandy, Scarlett, and I fantasized every day about how it would go. That Sunday, around 12.30, Brandy came running to our house. She knocked on the back door, like she always did, and I let her in. Brandy was beyond excited. Her mom had volunteered to accompany the three of us, and she wanted to go early so that we wouldn't miss anything. At 12.45, Scarlett still hadn't shown up at my house. My mom said we should wait for her, but Brandy threw a tantrum. She was scared that she wouldn't be able to hug all the characters if we came late. So Brandy's mom decided to drive. I wanted to go with them, but my mother said that she would drive Scarlett and me. I felt like I was being punished for Scarlett being late. I begged, I cried, nothing helped. Brandy went alone. Scarlett's parents dropped her off at 1.40. I was mad at her, but my mom said if I made a scene, we wouldn't go at all. I relented. We arrived around 20 minutes later at the big parking lot where the bus was scheduled to stop. We saw the crowds from the distance, parked the car, and walked over. They all held the M Show tour flyers, but it looked as if the crowd were mostly parents. They stood in a half circle towards the edge of the parking lot. Some of them looked concerned, but most of them were laughing and talking. My mom spotted Brandy's mother at the other end of the half circle, so we walked over to her. Brandy's mother was one of the worried ones. She told us that the bus had been there, together with all the animal figures from the M Show. They had a large bus with the M Show logo, and they handed out sweets. 
One of the animal figures had explained to the parents that they had built a set outside of town where we all could make our own short film with the characters of the show. They said they would drive everybody there. They took the children first. They were all so excited that few parents objected. The next bus was supposed to arrive within a few minutes to bring everyone to the set. When I heard that, I was excited like never before. I ran to the street to look around so I could be the first on the bus. I didn't see the worried expression when Brandy's mother talked to mine. I didn't understand why the police came not even an hour later. In Monday's episode of The M Show, one of the characters came on stage and told us to call our parents to watch the show. Our mom was already sitting with Scarlett and me. The character said that the M show didn't have a fan club. That week, Brandy's parents cried a lot. I was still sure that Brandy was okay. I thought she just had so much fun that she didn't want to come back. She must have had a lot of fun because she never came back. Brandy's mother cried even more that Friday when the small parcel arrived. There was a new The M Show fan club membership card for Brandy. It was golden and said elite member in big bold letters. The parcel also contained a video. It was only a minute long, a minute of Brandy at the set of The M Show. She was wearing the same dress as when she came over to our house that Sunday morning. In the video, Brandy was smiling. An actor in a big animal suit stood next to her silently. Hi mom, I really like it here, said Brandy. I really wish you could be here. Then she laughed. I'm sorry the others were late. I'm sure they would have loved it too. Like this video if it gave you the chills. And don't forget to subscribe to Snarled and our sister channels Hissy Fit and Slaytrix. If you or anyone you know have any unique paranormal experiences, DM me on Instagram or Twitter at Awkward Sapphire and I might feature your story. Even if it doesn't fit in with a the current theme, it might fit one in the future. And I do my best to read and respond to everybody, so please be patient with me. Until next time, sweet dreams.